call the people let them come. Yeah, they come. But it'd be nice if I would try that first. Because it might work. What if it works? Are y'all catching that? What if it works? See, they let me at least try before I take the title off. Let, let, let me at least utilize my faith over that headache before I take what they want me to take. I, I gotta put it to work. I gotta exercise. Are y'all hearing me? And then I gotta believe even while I'm taking the medicine, I gotta believe that my healing is already here. And what's gonna take place after that? I won't need the medicine. They told me I gotta take you off the medicine because your pressure's dropping too low. And you you looking at a man that was walking around with 170, 180, over over 125. I mean, every day without even knowing it. You see what I'm saying? And giving me about 400 milligrams of blood pressure medicine. I started declaring over my body. I wasn't created and I'm too young to be sitting around and taking a bunch of medicine. I'm going to work this thing. So I declared on my body, changed, eating, had it, started exercising. And then I found out my blood pressure was going too low. So they had to take me off of it. Y'all got to catch this. Look at the neighbor tell them you can change it. Amen. But you got to be willing to do what others are not. <laughs> See, you don't become a Hall of Famer because you do it like everybody else. Hall of Famers do it when other people aren't willing. Uh, y'all get it, don't y'all catch this. Elon Musk said he, 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 he was sleeping in the plant. Many days sleeping in the plant where other people were going home because he had a determination to build SpaceX. Y'all gotta catch this. See, you gotta be willing to do, LeBron willing to do what, what the other players weren't willing to do. How is he able to be shooting and going up and down the court like he is at 36 years old? He, his body should be breaking down, but it looked like his body getting better. Because he's willing to do what others aren't. Heard one of the players talking the other day, and he, he said, I'm the same age as LeBron, and, and I can't have move. I had to retire. But I'm looking at that young man, he's the same age I am. He's still running up and down that court like he did when he was 18. How is he doing that? He's willing to do what other people aren't. You, 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 you gotta come on. Come on. If you're gonna get beyond the mediocre life, you're going to have to be willing to do what other people aren't willing to do. You're going to have to be willing to get in the closet and what you're doing in secret, see God do it openly before everybody. you got to be willing to get in the gym when other people are still complaining. They're going to see the results of you being in the gym. Are y'all still here? Look at somebody tell them you weren't created mediocre. Tell them, look them in the face, pull their mask down or something. Tell them, look them right in the face, make sure they can see you. Tell them you were not created mediocre. See, you are in this world, but you are not of it. Glory to the Lord. You are in this world, but you are not of this world. Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. He said that you have been cast from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. You in kingship now. So let me be done and you still trying to catch up. Look at the name of God. You are in kingship. You are a king. Under the king of kings. 
He has made you king and priest unto God. He empowered you. He equipped you to have dominion in this earth. You are to reign in this earth, not get rained on. Your father's dependent on you because he's put it all in you. I've given you my own self. I've given you my image. I'm creating you like myself. Are you willing and bold enough to talk like me? Your, your, your body might be trembling, but your faith isn't. Even when your body's shaking, you're still talking faith. You're still speaking things that mean not everybody calling you crazy. She don't understand what she's doing. And you're still speaking. I know who I am. I, I talk like my daddy. He didn't bow. He didn't break down. And when I go through my Bible, I see many of those that represented him, they did not bow. They didn't break down. They stood boldly. We refuse to bow. I don't care how big you make the statue. I don't care how hot you turn up the heat. We will not bow. So nothing out here is supposed to scare you so bad that it makes you bow. No, you may get bow. Bow down. It don't make you buy. Have you scared running up in the house? Because they'll follow you in the house. <laughs> then you'll strip the house. Take everything out of the house. And you sit there. And they hear God say, You should have had a V8. <laughs> because if you would have had a V8, it would have showed you you are much stronger than him. There'd be more. For you. Yeah, then with them. Yeah, then with them. Yeah, you, you, you don't have to see them in the natural. Yeah, but they're there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At your call. Yeah, all of heaven. Gets busy. <laughs> you listen. Look what he said. You be better off in the depth of the sea. Than to mess with the least. Boy, this is so good. This is so good. Don't miss it. Don't miss it, baby. Don't miss it. You be better off in the depths of the sea with a millstone about your neck than the mess with the least. Baby, when you open up your mouth, confidently knowing who you are. Boy, you are powerful. Now you get up and go whoop everything 
That's trying to whoop you. God said, I empower you. You are more than a conqueror. You conquer everything that confronts you. You don't run. And you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Resist the enemy and he will flee. You'll be sorry he ever messed with you. Oh, y'all better stay with me. A man's stomach shall be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth. Watch this. From the produce of his lips, he shall be filled. Everything is coming and attracted to you according to what you are saying. And your talking creates thoughts. It creates new arms. They're going to come on. You can't start from the mind place. You got to start from the mouth place. Because you got 50 to 80,000 thoughts a day floating around you, and they're not your thoughts. You'll grab thoughts that's not even yours. You'll act out on something that wasn't even for you. You'll get upset about something, then you ask yourself, why are you upset? What you upset for? What you upset and just get angry about? A thought came through that wasn't even yours, and you grabbed it. Yeah. Are y'all hearing this? Yeah. That's why you gotta talk. They tell people, they say 90%, I'm going over to, to research, 90% of the people that develop all time are people that sit up in rooms with nobody, they're lonely, and they don't talk. Amen. They don't talk. I tell people, I said, I don't care if nobody's there, you talk to yourself. When you start feeling that loneliness or whatever is trying to hit you, open your mouth and start talking. <laughs> Go on the internet and get some decrees and start decreeing. If you don't know what to say, start decreeing stuff over yourself. But you got to talk. You don't hear me. You got to talk. 90% of them developed Alzheimer's from being in a lonely place. Nobody talking to them, and they're talking to nobody. I learned the thing that they told me I couldn't do or shouldn't do because they would think you were crazy is the thing I should have been doing all the time. So now I just let people think whatever they want to think because Tony going to talk. Oh yeah, he's going to talk. I'm not going to sit there and let him and just do all that talking to me and run me crazy and I don't say something. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. I cast down every idle thought that's trying to bounce up against the knowledge of God. I cast it down. So you have a fruitful life. You produce good fruit. See, somebody should be echoing this with their own name. That's what I'm saying to you. Watch this. He said, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Your tongue, baby. Yes. Your tongue, whatever the Lord will is. Baby, you better say something. You better know what that will is. Because if not, the enemy going to do you like he did Eve. He going to deceive you with something that sounds like it. He's a trickster. And if you don't know and you sit around with that type of religious attitude, he will deceive you with something that sounds like. Yes, yeah. 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 so true, so true. Yeah. Man. You're teaching good, Bishop. Yeah. Sitting, a couple of brothers, and another man came up and got to talking. And when he got done, you know, I'm saying, I'm just looking. Because I already know he way off left field. The other brother that was with me, well knowledgeable from the Bible. He said, you know what? There's some truth in that, isn't it? I said, what? How did you find some truth in that? Well, it just out. That's the deception. He'll take it and make it sound like 
And if you aren't secure in your own self, he will trick you. Are y'all still here? He said, life and death is in the power of your tongue. So you got to know what it is for you. You don't wait on somebody else to come home and tell you. Brother, I make people think. I'll make them think that they'll come to me with some 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 nonchalant stuff that I know they know the answer to. But when people are used to people giving them the answers, they'll never search it out for themselves. So I learned to make people get the answer for themselves. I can tell you the answer, but sometimes I want you to get it. And then you come back and tell me, then I'll tell you who you are. Because because listen here, you, you, you're not in a place. I know I know you used to that old church. That old church, everybody was a preacher. And everybody sat there dumb and don't they? Nobody did nothing. Just sat there, everybody depended on the preacher. I said a lot of them could still be living if the people would know who they are and got them in heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh man, that's a little guy for another day. I won't make nobody upset. But anyway, see, 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 when you you when you come to this church. You come to this church for me to teach you how to fish. Not just keep giving you a fish. God give it to you a couple times, but, but, but on that third round, baby, you ought to know how to get that fish yourself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. That's true. <laughs> um, I'm losing some people, and I'm gaining a lot more. Because you got to learn this. You done been in prayer lines umpteen of years and you're still dealing with the same problem. One day the Lord gonna heal me and you done been in all them prayer lines. It's not the Lord healing you, baby. It's your faith. The Bible says your faith makes you whole. I prayed over a woman about an hour. Then she turned around and called me and asked me, was I really praying? And I said, God, what's, what's the problem here? There's something wrong with this picture. This ain't working for some reason. What, what, what is this? He said, you spend too much time trying to please them. You spend too much time with them. Instead of making them get up and get in their faith. Because if you're in faith, all he got to do is speak the word. He ain't got to lay hands on you. You ain't even got to come to my house. Just speak the word. And everything will be well up in the house. Just speak the word. Everything will be well in this mind, in this body, in my soul. Just speak the word. When you in faith, you don't need a lot of people doing a bunch of stuff. When you in faith, you learn the faith of the one that you're following. And you'll do it like it. That's why Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Because he's going to do it like Christ, and then you're going to do it like him. The Bible said you follow the faith of the one that are in front of you. And then take note of Romans 10 and 8. Let me give you another. I want, I want, I want you to read this one. Because this one going to be a little bit deeper. If I quote it, you're going to be like, oh, for real? Yeah. But I want you to know it's for real. Because you're going to read it. Romans 10 and 8. Somebody get it real fast. Are y'all okay with this? That's your name. You being blessed? Hey, tell them, look, if you don't have an answer, you might want to excuse yourself. In, yeah. in the message is very close at hand. The message is very close at hand. Well, Y'all listen at this. Don't get distracted. Listen at this. The, the message list. is very close at hand. It was what? It is on your lips. It's on your lips. It is and in your heart. And that is what? And the message is that the very message about faith that we preach. The very message about faith that I'm preaching to you right now. Yes. It's not you. It's in your mouth. It's in your heart. All you got to do is limit it. And it'll work for you. Jesus said when they see you, they see me. When they see me, they see the Father. 
So you can't be trying to jump overboard somewhere. Now you follow that example that's teaching you the message of faith. See, this ain't no fine brimstone message. I don't, I don't do fine brimstone. Other people do. I'm not the one. If you're looking for fine brimstone and people with the wits to beat you down all the time, you need to go to another church where they do that. Because see, I don't do that. Because you don't get people up beating them down all the time. You keep them in the same mindset that they've already had, they'll never get up. If I beat you down about drugs all the time, you ain't going to never get off drugs. But if I give you the value of your life, if I teach you, you're so much better than that. You don't have to be strung out all the time. Oh, y'all got to come on. Whatever that problem is, that's, that's your harboring. If you would just only release it, and, and you'll find out that you'll feel so much better, you'll realize you won't need that. Because a lot of these things are accumulated because of things that people harbor within themselves, and they never let it go. If you let it go and get at peace, you'll realize, I don't need all of that. Are y'all still here? I gotta hit the root of this thing. And the root of this is faith needs to be at work. Life and death is in my tongue. I'm gonna open my mouth. Get up in the morning. Open it up your mouth. Don't just don't just jump. And, you know, you get up so late, you got I have minutes, you gotta be at work. You babe, look, you, you ain't gonna make it like that. You can't keep living that type of lifestyle. You gotta get up early enough so you can set yourself for the day. Call out some things. Pray in the Holy Ghost. So your day can be set up. To the way you have said. Not what somebody else said. As soon as you pull out, somebody cut over in front of you, and then there you go. They done messed up the whole day. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because you're in a hurry. You're five minutes. And, and, you know, so you ain't brush teeth because you got about the bed. You have to hurry up. So, I got to just throw something on and go. Yeah. Yeah. Praise Jesus. <laughs> I used to get to work at least an hour. To, uh, a minimum of a half hour early. Right. Right. Yeah, I get up a couple hours early. Got out of church late. Went on, lay down for about an hour, get back up, get ready to go to work. Because I didn't believe in running behind right. and rushing. Can't take my time and get some stuff in here to set my day up because the enemy's setting up out here too. He's been chanting all through the night. You got to break some stuff out the way before you get out here. Are y'all going to stay here a little bit? Gee, it's in your tongue. Look at somebody tell them it's in your tongue. So I'm looking for everybody else. Open up your mouth. Because God will put you in predicaments where there's nobody around. And you can't get hold to nobody. So what are you going to do? Right. You going to commit suicide? Are you going to abort? Or be like the men that were caught down in that Colorado mountain. He looked up and he told them other guys that were with him, we shall not die here today. We shall live. And them boys, way down in the mountain, in Colorado mountain, it wasn't supposed to rain. But it rained. And they were stuck down here. The boys got up out of there, they had them on the news, and they testified of what took place. They did not die. Because somebody spoke up in faith and said, we shall not die here today. Y'all got to learn how to talk. You got to learn how to talk. I don't care what's the way you say, I shall not go down today. This thing will not overtake me today. I shall prosper in this thing. I shall be favored in this situation. You got to have that type of attitude. 
Don't let the enemy tell you, girl, you ain't gonna make it. What you gonna do now? Like, no, don't give him no time. Don't give him no place. You start talking immediately. Oh, everything gonna work out here. Everything is well here. When your kids sit there looking at you, mama, mama, what are we gonna do? We're gonna, oh, don't, don't cry, y'all. Everything is well for this house. Get the children excited. Get them happy. Everything is well for this house. I told her one day, she said that she didn't know how they were going to get anything for Christmas. I said, baby, put the tree up, decorate the tree, and watch God do it. You just go off of what I'm telling you and mimic it and watch God do the work. People came along, knocked on the door, had three vehicles loaded with stuff for her family. And poured all that stuff around that tree. She came back to church shouting, Bishop, it sure works. We got more than enough for the house. The word works if you work it. Look at somebody tell them, work the word, amen. And let it do the work. I can't believe you all feel like God is up here. How about you sometimes? It's in your tongue. It's in your tongue. Don't take everybody's report. Oh, they say it's storming. Well, I say all is well in this atmosphere. Now, I'm going to speak the opposite because, because I found out in the scripture that Elijah was a man just as we. And he prayed earnestly that there would be no rain. And there was none for three and a half years. He prayed again and the rain was released. There's power in your mouth. But yeah. you gotta believe in what you're saying. You can't let people talk you out and say, well, you, you know you ain't got no power. You need to get away from them people. Yeah. They always want to tell you what you ain't got. You gotta get around people that tell you what you do get. Yeah. Yes, Go to God, they'll celebrate you. You ain't gotta stay around and be tolerated by a bunch of mess. You're better than that. Look at somebody telling you, you're better than that. Yeah. There's so much more to you than you would ever get. You are a powerful being. Glory to God. The power has always been there. And God said, I'll do it exceeding and abundantly above all that you could ask or think according to the power that worketh in you. So the power has always been in you and you are the one to activate it. If you don't activate, then nothing can happen. You can't blame God. You can't blame the president. You can't blame the judge. You can't blame your mom and You can only blame yourself. Because you didn't work it. Glory to God, open your mouth and say it. Because what if it does work? Oh, glory to God, bless somebody and tell them what if it does work? Get away from the naysayers. They ain't got no good news for you. Walk away from them. Get somewhere by yourself and start decreeing in a bit. I cancel every storm. I speak and declare clear to God. Bright sunshine and warm temperature. Call me crazy if you want to. But what if it does work? What if it does work? If he did it, then I got a right to do it too. I believe in what I say, like he believes in what he says. Lord, if I ain't gonna be going crazy when God say, "Open up your mouth." Thou shalt be free of things, and it shall be a status for you. The blessing comes without painful toil. You can't work for this. You gotta just receive this. Glory to God, follow the principles of God, and work your faith, and know that you're gonna act better than ever. Not one time, but every time. You ain't got enough money, baby, to have the money. I command all the money to show up. Thank <laughs> you.
you pray out of it today is turning in your favor today 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 it turns in your favor today it turns in your favor good news standing in your direction good news standing in your direction yeah Lord yeah Lord somebody tell him thank you somebody tell him thank you somebody tell him thank you now give me five seconds of praise Let it flow all on the inside. 
Have your belly jumping. Have your body jumping. Have everything jumping. You don't even know. That is the spirit of God. The spirit man feeds off the spirit. Y'all sit down. Tell God, thank you. I prophesied zero balance. And don't go back home talking about, I don't know how. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Like Jesus told the father of that child. They said, don't need to trouble him about saying more. Jesus told them, hush. Because if you came here in faith, that she was going to be raised up. She's going to be raised up. But if you let them tell you that she's dead, then she'll be dead. You came in faith, stay in faith, finish in faith. It's prophesied to you, stay in the faith of it, stay in the faith of it, and finish in the faith of it. Say nothing but what faith has said here today. And see the God miracle. See the God result. God intend for you to come here and work and pay bills all your life. The Bible says you're supposed to be enjoying this life. To the full, to the overflow. You gotta go work no overtime and take vacation. Set your family out ahead, where are we going? Right. And don't go by what you can afford. You you oh God, God that's good, Bishop. You in God's currency. Right. And when you speak it and say that, it'll manifest itself. Yes. Oh, I know it's true. You, you're looking at one that utilizes it. I told my wife, I said, baby, God, God been doing some great things. Yeah. We get some answers to a lot of prayer Amen. and decree. Amen. So we take more vacations. Yeah. We're going to get some more rest. Yeah. So we can stay refreshed. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Y'all going to catch me. So you you are the one responsible. But if you keep going over what they say, you're going to be exactly where they are. No way. I promise out your down days over. You're going to be bold enough to get up and walk out of them conversations. You're going to be bold enough to shut that channel off and turn on something else. You watch this stuff and it's getting you sadder and sadder. You don't supposed to be on that like that. Yeah. When I watch stuff, I'm watching for entertainment, enjoyment, not sit there and be going through and falling deep in. That's not entertainment for me. You don't realize God set up a king for you. But you keep calling dogs. So whoop, 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 they're going to keep coming. Watch this. And you got emotion in it. That's energy. You put energy into that. You really going to attract it. Really quick. They're going to come and do just like this. Then you're going to be crying. Oh, Lord. I'm sleeping with that. No, you ain't in it like that. You go on stuff for entertainment. I enjoy some good movies. Now I'm sitting there going through. If it makes me feel like I'm going through, I'm getting it off. Now I turn on Martin or something and start laughing. 
Jesus. She said, nay, nay, let her make me, make me laugh. Praise Jesus. And this is the oldest. I'm not going to say it wrong. Wrong, the wrong, wrong. The old dragonfly vision. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't leave our dragonfly. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff you supposed to, it's entertainment. There's enough stuff going on out there. You don't want whole stuff to bring you down. You want stuff to pick you up. And the Bible says laughter is like medicine. Laughter will heal you. You need to laugh more. Stop being so serious. The religious. They ain't getting you nowhere. Look at how religious you are. Yes. You'll die sad, sad. No matter how holy you are. Go on, yeah, go ahead. Just make sure you get fire insurance and some insurance. Life insurance. Life insurance. Yeah. Fire insurance. Yeah. Amen. No, be attracted to the best things of life. Be attracted to something to make it laugh. Stay around them sad people and think you just got to sit there. No, you got to sit there. Amen. Glory to God, I'm a grown man. I'll get up and walk. Amen. Amen. I didn't have them time where I just had this, 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 this. No, I came to myself. Right. And when you come to yourself, there will be people that are not going to like you very much. But you can't change because of them. No, you got to do what works for you and stick to it. You ain't trying to please them. Pleasing people days for you is over. It's time that you get in a celebration so you can experience what God has predestined for you. You know, I'd be rolling around with the hoop, the hoop, the doom, pop, boom, bang, changeling, can't get it started, can't get it done. Pop, pop, pop on every corner. Can you get me a jump? God don't want you like that. Amen. You his child. Amen. He's trying to get you in the back. Yes. Stand in the cheapest hotel because it's only ten dollars. <laughs> and sleep with bed bugs. Amen. And love. Yeah. Get in the back of them. Uh, well, okay. All, I know where all the fumes be at back there. Never mind. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all can design that thing. A man, I, 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 let, I let one of one of, one of uh, partners that I partner with, some words he said stuck with me. He said, it just cost a few more dollars to go first class. From the day I heard him say that, that stuck with me ever since. I said, there go my confirmation. A few more dollars. Y'all know why they switched from a dollar to 99 cents? Because the mind looks at a dollar as a lot. They don't realize they just took a penny off. He said, oh, that's only 99 cents. Oh, girl, yeah, we can get that. <laughs> you see how he mess with your mind? That's a mindset. It's a mindset. Then you just got satisfied with it and want to go out there and tear the place up. Honey, you shouldn't have been there in the first place. Right. I went a lot of places that, and, and only to realize I could have been in a better place. But I was being cheated. Okay. I wouldn't trust in God. I would trust in my dollars. Right. Being right. cheated. Right. Right. And then when it all said and done, I realized I had the money. I, I could have went on to right. a different level. Right. Are y'all catching this? Yes, sir. If you don't change your mind about it, right. then you'll remain the same. Right. See, you come here for me to preach this to you. So you can change your mind about it. And get yourself up. You can get up. I can't get up. Come on, give the Lord a good praise. I'm seeing some blessed, 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 blessed. 
Bless, 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 bless people. And if you don't get to it, honey, this year, don't blame nobody. Some of y'all running behind right now. You shouldn't be. But when you listen to the wrong people and they talk you out of it, then they keep you in a place you should have been out of. You suffer with stuff you shouldn't have to be suffering with. If you don't value yourself more, then you can't get more. You got to know your true value. My value is God. I'm his inheritance. I have inherited everything that he has. You not may not be all there today, but your faith is working every day. And you're taking steps that way. You're going from faith to faith, glory to glory. You don't go backwards. You go forward. It's going to be this or something better. You're not settling for less. Amen. 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 You ain't going to be keeping out of that love for Sitting around sis all day, eating up all the buffet, like that's all you got. Amen. No, you're going to go to the best place. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I started in the places, ordered me a pot. Then I ordered me some french fries. And I sit there just like I did, hey, just, just like I'm just as rich as everybody else sitting there. And then I get through getting my check. And I paid it boldly and said, I'll be back. And I come back, I'm going to be able to buy me a whole dinner. Right. <laughs> better you. Right, right, right. you got to see yourself growing. Yeah. You don't stay the same. And it don't take six months. Right. It takes a shift of consciousness. Yeah. And you stick it to it. Yeah. Stick it to that plan. When you say, look, this is the last day it's the last hour that I'll be at this place. Every step from here is going to be taking me up. And you stick to that plan. And you'll see it taking place. The Bible says the blade, then the corn, then the whole corn. But you'll start getting nuggets to let you know you're on the right path. If it don't look like it's better, don't accept it. No, this is not it. I'm past five dollars. Don't come at me no five dollars. Amen. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. God bless you. Go receive communion. I'm going to do two things at once due to the lateness of the hour.